All right, this might be the coldest morning yet, but here we are. Fed out in the pasture, getting to work right away with these crazy puppies and kitten. <laughs> Gotta keep them moving. Oh man. CJ! And today I also have to keep an eye on my two little silky roosters because yesterday they almost uh, silently, viciously, without a sound, killed each other. So, it is a myth that multiple roosters cannot live together in peace. That is a myth just like raising children, it's up to who's raising the children to instill the rules and boundaries and all of that. So I'm working on two sides of the farm this morning, <laughs> trying to keep these dogs, get them exercised, and also keeping an eye on way over there, the birds. Yesterday I ended up, what you do when the roosters start fighting is you separate the aggressor, who was spunky, and I put him in a dog crate by himself. And then eh, an hour or so later, I took him back out. And they've been fine since then. So today I watch them if it happens again. Whoever starts it goes in the crate. <laughs> Manfred is our Australian cattle dog. He's seven years old and he is a little arthritic. Takes him a while to get going. Juno and Chase are our Anatolian Pyrenees, livestock guardian puppies. And they are high maintenance right now. <laughs> this morning, the first thing Chase did was go right after Cash, our ram lamb. And there's one thing about ram lambs, if you don't know, well, the reason they're called ram lambs is because they ram. <laughs> and it hurts. So technically, that could be a bad thing for both the dogs and the lambs. Rule number one with livestock guardian dogs, they need to be trained right away that they are not ever to play with the livestock, meaning in our flock, they're not allowed to play with the lambs, the birds, or the kitten. They can play with Manfred. So, First thing I do is I get them moving. I can't go all the way around the perimeter because our cat, our barn kitten follows us and he does hop fences and we do live off of a major highway. So I don't want the kitten ever going up close to the road. One of my other rules is you always gotta keep moving. I think one of the first things I read about real life sheep shepherds is that they walk their sheep an average of 14 miles a day. The shepherd is always moving, just like with a pack leader. Pack leader's always moving. It's true, we don't have eyes on the back of our heads, <laughs> which means we have to constantly be changing our position to keep an eye on everybody until everybody gets the day going real good, gets all that nighttime, pent up energy out. So the birds seem to be peaceful this morning. There we go. Another thing that I'm having difficulty with is keeping the dogs and lambs from eating the bird food. <laughs> Hi Spunky. Hi P-Dub. P-Dub has been assigned the mother hen by our number one head honcho rooster, Greenlegs. P-Dub takes care of these babies. And here is Spunky and Sweetie, the two silky roosters that have been fighting. 
so I gotta keep an extra eye on them. It was silent, it was literally silent. I just happened to turn the corner and they were rolling in a ball and it was raining and they were so wet, they looked like, well, they looked like wet rats. <laughs> well, for now this morning, they seem to be doing okay. I can't worry too much about the dogs eating the bird seed. I don't put that much down anyway until later in the day. Here we got Manfred. Good boy, Manfred. And the lambs are still out there. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting to my other morning chores here. I'm already frozen. It is probably about... Oh, well, let's go see what the thermometer says. It's cold. Freezing, actually. Some of the ladies are still in bed. Okay, it is 19 degrees out. Oh my God, I knew it was cold. Holy cow. Ladies, it is cold, 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 huh? I don't blame you for sleeping in. No eggs last night. They typically don't lay eggs overnight, but hey guys. They have been. 19 degrees, holy lamb. Take one more check on the dogs out here and then I'll get started on my chores. Definitely need to triple up on my gloves here too. Where is Juno? There she is. All right, guys, let's have a good day, shall we? Let's all have a good day. I love you guys.